Hello zoologists of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance, welcome to my spellbook, and thank you for tuning in to the 14th episode of our Beast series. Today we're looking at the goat. And do I mean greatest of all time? You know, I don't know, you tell me. I do like the goat, I think it's got a lot of cool stuff to it. Um, but we'll get into that in a little bit here. The goat is found in the Dungeon Master's Guide, there's also a ton of other resources. This is kind of a base level creature that's just found around. And it is a CR0, that is to say it's not really a challenge, and it provides 10 experience points whenever you kill it. That being said, let's take a quick look at his stats here so you can discuss him further. So the goat, much like the deer, is considered to be a medium beast, and it is unaligned. It has an AC of 10 and 4 hit points, calculated by rolling a d8. It has a speed of 40 feet, which is pretty good actually. Taking a look at his stats there, you'll notice he's not very smart and he's not very charismatic, although more charismatic than a lot of the other creatures we've covered, but he does got a little bit of strength to him, so you gotta look out. He only really has one sense, and that's his passive perception of 10, which isn't really anything to write home about, but it's not the worst we've seen. It does, however, have a couple other traits. Namely, the first one being charge. So if the goat moves at least 20 feet straight towards a target and then hits him with its ram attack on the same turn, the target takes an extra 2, or 1d4, bludgeoning damage. If the target is a creature, it must succeed on a DC 10 strength save or be knocked prone. Very cool stuff. The goat is also one of the creatures with the ability of sure-footed. This provides advantage on strength and dexterity saving throws made against effects that would not get prone, which is pretty cool, really handy to have actually. Now let's take a look at his actions here. So the goat can take a ram attack, which is considered to be a melee weapon attack, plus 3 to hit, which is great. A reach of 5 feet, 1 target, and deals 3 damage, uh, bludgeoning damage to be more precise, and that is calculated by rolling 1d4 and adding a modifier of plus 1. I really like the goat. I like goats in real life too, so maybe I am a little bit biased, although I think this would make a fun low-level quest of adventurers sent to just find a farmer's goats, or maybe even a couple of them based on the party size, and they could kind of get bullied around by the goats, and once again, a lot of these lower tier monsters are meant to be used with um, lower tier parties, right? Low-level parties. So if you bear that in mind, you can get really creative with how you use them in a way that will show the players how to play the game in a little more intricate of a way. For example, the goat's movement speed means you can't just chase it down because it's just going to use the dash action. So you have to get a little bit more creative with battlefield manipulation. And that being said, it can also force you prone. So you have to be wary of that and he's likely to charge at you. So he does have some form of aggression. I just think they're fun creatures to play around with and mechanically they seem very interesting that being said if you have any ideas on how to fold them into your game i'd be very curious to hear about them down beneath also if you have any thoughts questions comments concerns please put them down there as well i love hearing from you guys that being said I hope you have a great day and as always happy researching